and stand in front of the bench. Pull the shoulders back and down. Relax those arms and tap the toes. Little taps, little taps. Yeah, two of those, two of those, yeah. Oh, this <laughs> All right. Don't start that. All right. Shake out those arms. And march on the right. Take it on the right. Take it out wide. Going into alternating taps and reach. Up. Up. Single arm circle it in. Reach up once more, nice and long. Single arm, circle it in. Alternate knees to the front and pull down. Now let's take those knees and arms sides. Tapping the end step. Tap the outside of the heel. Hand straight curl, reach and pull. And you're going to lift your leg side, pull for the chest. Planting the feet and squat, down up. Seat pushes straight back. Down and press for three, chest stays tall. Single squat again, down up. Down with your press for three. Again. Step back with the right foot and lunge, right, and the left. Lunge right, lunge left, rear lunge. One more set. Take the right back and pulse for three, and the left. Right again, and the left. Let's go back to singles, right left. Two more sets, nice tall chest. Breathe. Okay, we're gonna take that right foot out to the side and we're gonna launch side to side. We're gonna press four to the right. Singles left and right. Press four to the left. Singles right and left. Four to the right, press. And singles. Press four left. And singles. Now, just bring that body up nice and tall. Keep lunging side to side. Now just bring your body center and press straight down. Angle those toes and knees out a little bit. Give me four more. Here's four. And three. Here's two. We're going to keep those little presses going. We're going to bring our arms into goal post. We're going to keep our hips facing front and just rotate the upper body a little quarter turn. Here we go. Go to the right and center and left. Little quarter turns. Two more sets. Now tap and reach. All arm up. Both arms, nice big swing. Take it into a side step. Bicep curl. March it out. Shake out the arms, roll the shoulders back, and we're going to get started. We're going to do three exercises, and we're trying to go through each of them twice, okay? So, two dumbbells, we're going to start. Squat pulses, 
And then you can hold those dumbbells at shoulders or you can bring it down by your sides. Feet are going to be shoulder distance. The knees have just a little bit of a bend in them. We're going to keep your chest tall. What we're going to do is we're going to go down, come back up. Then we're going to go down with pulse two, come up. Go down with pulse three, come up. We're going to go all the way up to six. Okay? Then we'll bring it back down. You ready? Just one here. So it goes down and up. Now down for two. Now three pulses. Three, two, one. Going for four. Four, three, two, one and up. Now five, four, three, two, one, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six and up. Now five. Give me five, four, three, two, one, and up. Four, four, three, two, and one and up. Three, two, one, and up. And two, two, and up, and one. Yes, good job. Okay, moving on. Try set press to a skull pressure. All right, we're gonna go to the bench. Get your mat on your bench if you need. Two dumbbells. So you'll be working triceps mostly with the tricep chest press, and we're gonna go right into that skull pressure. So it's a compound move. All right. Take a seat at the end. Bring your weights to your lap. Roll down to your back. You're going to start in the down position. The back of your arms are pressed against the bench. Palms are facing in. We're going to press straight up. You're going to skull crush her down to the shoulder. Upper arm is stationary. Come back up. And then lower to the bench. Okay? So ready? Here we go. So it's press up. Go back. Come back up. And lower. It's a press. Go back. Come up. And lower. Keeping those arms close to the sides of the body. Looking more of that tricep here. Palms in. Press up. Skull crusher. Come back up. And lower. Up. Skull crusher. Come back up. Lower. Four more. Just four. You're getting at the elbow for that skull crusher. Keeping the upper arm stationary. Okay. Two more. Try to get that dumbbell all the way down to that bench on that skull pressure. Last one. Good job. Put those weights into your lap. Roll up. Place them on the floor. Okay. We're going to one arm snatch. Working shoulder. So one dumbbell, each shoulder. Hand on the waist. It's like a four count movement. So you're going to go one, two, rotate the palm out. Press up three. Come back down on four. Okay? So here we go. So one to the shoulder. Press up and lower. Down. Just rotating that wrist as you come down, as you go up. So rotate it up. Rotate it back to you. There's four. Five. Six. Seven. There's eight, focusing on that shoulder. There's nine. Give me one more. And ten. Good job. Switching over to that left side. Here we go. So it's down to the shoulder. Press up and lower. Nice and smooth. One continuous movement. Rotating that wrist. Or palm, I should say. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Okay, let's go back to those full squats. Two dumbbells. Starting down up with one, going all the way up to six. So here we go, let's go with one. Now two. Now three. Four, sit back nice and low. Five. And six. Five. 
four, nice tall chest. Three, push that seat straight back. Two, and one. Good job, going back to the bench for your tricep skull pressure combination. Take a seat at the end. Grab your waist, put them into your back, and roll down to your back. Back of the arms against the bench. Palms facing in. Let's keep the arms close to your sides. Here we go. You're going to press up. Skull pressure down. And up. And lower. Press up. Go back. Come up. And lower. Skull pressure. Good job. Here's four. Focus on that tricep. Five. Upper back part of the arm. Nice and smooth. Six, going full range of motion. Seven, keep those arms close as you come up and down. There's eight, skull pressure. Two more. There's nine. And here's ten. Good job. Put those dumbbells in your lap. Roll yourself up. Place it on the floor, hands above those knees, coming up to a standing position. And move that mat out of your way. Going into a one arm snatch. Okay. Pick your poison. We'll start with that left arm this time, feet shoulder. There we go. So you're going to go down to the shoulder, up and lower. Four. Good job. Roll up. We're going to go to the other side. Support yourself on the supporting leg. 
five, palm in. There we go, row up using the back. Give you that full range of motion. Here's two, nice and smooth. Three, remember you're squeezing at the top of that row. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more, focus on back. And ten. Good job, roll up. Okay, now we're gonna grab your mat and then come down to the floor. And do a dumbbell pass on a knee plank. Okay, so I want you on your knees. You can do these on the toes, it'll be a little harder. That's up to you. What we're gonna do is we'll start that dumbbell over on the left side. Alright, down by the hip. And what you're going to do, stay on those knees without trying to turn that body. Take the right hand over, grab that dumbbell, bring it back over to the, that side. Put that hand down. Now take the left hand, go over and grab it and pass it under. So you're just alternating. Again, try not to turn the body. The wider out you place that dumbbell, the more you're going to use those obliques. You can do either. Knees or toes. Whatever you feel is more comfortable that you can handle with good form. All right? Okay. Pass it and set it down out wide. To your side. A little bit of the shoulder here also. Core. Squeeze those glutes so that body does not move. Let's do two more sets. Here's one. And here's two. Good job. Come up onto the knees. One foot in front. Tuck the back toe under. Press up. Going back to those sumo squats. One heavier dumbbell. Feet are wide. Toes and knees forward. Push your seat back, chest remains tall. Here we go. Down up. Two. Three. You can go deep. Great. Four. Five. Six. Press up to the heels. Seven. Tuck those glutes under. Squeeze them. Nine. Give me one more. And ten. The switch. Down up. Two. Focus on those legs. Glutes. Come up and give me that squeeze. Four, try not to rush. There's five, six, seven, chest remains tall. Eight, nine, got one more. And here's ten, good job. Going to the one-armed row, one dumbbell. Support yourself on the supporting front leg. Arm stays close to the side, palm in, here we go. Roll up and lower. All the way up with that arm. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze that shoulder blade right up against that spine. Four. Really focus on using your back to lift that weight. Six. Seven. Control it up. Control it down. Two more. Nine. And ten. Good job, come on up. Switch to the other side. Okay, nice tight core. Here we go, roll up and down. Shoulder blade to the spine, squeeze. Keep the arm close to your side. There's four. Five. Six, breathe. Seven, nice and smooth. More. And ten. Good job. Roll up. Coming back down to those pass under dumbbell pass unders. One dumbbell, your mat. Okay? Toes or knees. Alright? I'm gonna try the toes, see how it feels. If you do toes, white stance, okay? 
Here we go. Reach with the left hand, pull it across. Now the right. Reach and pull it across. Reach and pull it across. Try to keep that upper body nice and still. Breathe. You're set four. You're set five. You're six. You're seven. And one more. And here's eight. Good job. Up on those knees, one foot in front. Tuck your back toe under, press up. Move that mat out of your way. How are we doing, gang? So far, so good. Okay, here comes the little cups. We're going to alternate forward leaning lunges. So you're going to hinge the hip a little bit. And upper body, you will round a little bit, but not a lot. I want you to try to keep that chest tall and open. You're going to start with the right. You're going to set, set the cups down. Step in. Step out left and pick them up. So you set them down and pick them up. Again, try to keep your body tall. If you can't reach the floor, just take the cups and tap your ankles. Okay? So do what you can. There's one. Go your speed. If mine's too fast, there's two. I want good form. Really lean forward, upper body lean. There's three. There's four, get more into that glute. There's five, from your pace. There's six. There's seven. There's eight. Good job. Press away. Okay, we're going to do two dumbbells. You might want to have them lighter. We're going to work chest and shoulder together. All right? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our arms and goal post. It's a compound movement. So you're going to chest slide in and out. Get the hands down. Push forward and back. Okay? So chest, a little bit of the shoulder. So fly and press. Fly and chest. Let me fly. Press front. Squeeze in and out. Press forward and back. There's five. Keep those elbows up. There's six. You want to know about shoulder height? There's seven. And eight. Good job. All right. How are we doing? Push ups, shoulder taps. Push ups with alternating shoulder taps, toes or knees. All right. Your choice. Hands under the shoulders. Here we go. So you're going to go down, up, tap the right shoulder. Down, come up and tap the left shoulder. Down, up and tap. Down, up and tap. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more. Here's twelve. Yeah, sit back, little stretch. Up on those knees, one foot in front, tuck the back toe under, press up. Grab your cups. Forward leaning lunges. And keep the chest tall. Pinch the hip. Here we go. Now, and pick them up. Try to keep moving directly forward. Go your pace. Give me a nice big lunge forward. You're set three. Lots of focus here. 
Here's four. Here's five. Here's six. Two more sets. Here's seven. Take them down. Breathe. Once more. Eight. Yes. Good job. Put those cups away. Back to your what do you got? Uh, chest fly. And front press. Both those arms. Ready? Fly in and out. Press forward and back. And out. Forward and back. Squeeze in. Out. Press forward. Back. Squeeze in. Out. Press forward. Back. In. Out. Forward. Back. Here's seven. Breathe. Here's eight. Really make it count. Here's nine. Put those weights down, coming down to push-ups with alternating shoulder taps. Grab water when you need it, people. Okay, toes or knees, hands under the shoulders, weight over the hands. Here we go, it's down, up and tap. There's two, three, four, nice and smooth. Five, full range of motion. Seven, eight, Nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Sit back, go stretch. Woo! Slide those hands in, up on those knees, one foot in front. Tuck your back toe under, press up. Get that out of the way. Moving on. How we doing, gang? Still with me? Okay. Now. Plie squat. So it's a very, very wide stance with your toes and knees out. Okay, working more in our thigh. Okay? You can hold the dumbbells in front, at your shoulders, or at your sides. Grab her down and pulse two. Alright? So pulse, pulse, and up. Two, pulse, and up. There's three, just two pulses and up. There's four, stay low. Good. Here's five. Your upper body stays tall. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. Go deep if you can. And ten. Excellent. Step it in. From there, we're going to go into a compound move, working bicep and tricep. So two dumbbells. We're going to do a hammer curl into an overhead press. And then a tricep press for two. So, here's one, two, down up two times. Come back to the shoulders and lower. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, you got the bicep, you got the shoulder, you got the tricep. Squeeze the bicep, use the shoulder, now your tricep. Focus on each one. Here's five. Here's six. Seven. Excellent work. Good job. Okay. From there, we're going to do, keep, keep your dumbbells, two dumbbells. We're going to do alternating continuous kickbacks. When you get done with those, we're going to do alternating continuous. I'm going to have up and palm up biceps. Okay? So, feet shoulder, knees soft, get your elbows high. 
You're going to keep the upper arm stationary, right? And you're just going to start with your right and go right into your left. Kick back and squeeze. For step three, four. Now I need you to really squeeze the upper back part of that arm as you kick back. Six, seven, eight, nine. Full extension. Ten. You got two more. Here's eleven. And here's twelve. Yes, come up, palms up, bicep, right and left, go out wide, three, four, keep the wrist rigid, five, six, elbows right into that side, do not let them swing back and forth, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve, yes? Good job. All right. Going to the goal press. Let's see. PA squat. I mean, PA squat. Two dumbbells. Wide, wide stance. Toes out. Ready? Down, pulse two. Pulse two. And up. Two. And up. Three. Four. When you come up, squeeze those glutes nice and tight. Five. Six, seven, eight, we'll squeeze at the top, nine, ten, good job, all right, step in, moving to that hammer, hammer up with an overhead tricep, all right, combination move, here we go, so hammer up, press overhead, two triceps, bring it down and lower, Bicep, shoulder, tricep. Make it count. Continue. Control. There's four. Full extension on that over there, tricep. There's five. Elbows forward. For six. Seven. And eight. Good job, all right. Okay, from there, we're gonna go into this hinge rear flies, all right? So you're gonna work the back of the shoulder and your back a little bit, all right? So, you're gonna hinge forward, core is tight, back is flat, chest is open. Alternating rear flies, so up right and down, now left. Up right, up left. Right, and left. Right, and left. Your set four, focus on using the back of that shoulder, a little bit of your middle back. Six, you're controlling the up, and you're controlling the down. Just don't let it drop. Give me one more set. Excellent work, good job, okay. Let's put those dumbbells down. We're gonna go over the leg a little bit, we're gonna go on the bench. We're going to start with two dumbbells, and I will drop to one. So I'm going to take a heavier one with me when I drop to the one. Okay, so you're at the left end. Your right foot is on the bench. It will not move, all right? On the floor, the foot that's on the floor, I want you to stay on the ball of your foot. So what we're going to do is just come up and tap, and come up and tap, all right? Trying to stay with my tempo, stay on the ball of the foot. Here we go. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eight more, eight, seven. Go your pace if this is too fast. Five, four, keep 
keep your chest tall. Three, two, and one. Yes? Step down. All right. I'm going to go to one dumbbell. You can keep two if you want. Or stay at that left end. I'm going to hold the ends. I'm going to do a drop squat off the end. Here we go. So drop squat. Come on. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. And ten. Yes? Now I'm going to turn sideways. I'm going to get more of a loop. If you do not want to do this one on the step, you can do it on the floor. What it is, you're going to squat down. And when you come up, you're going to go behind me to a cross back lunge. Now, if you want to do these on the floor, you can. All right? Here we go. So side squat, back lunge. Side squat, back lunge. Go your face. Squat, back lunge. Squat, back lunge. Five, six, seven, one more, and eight. Good job. Coming down, I'll grab my two dumbbells again, go to the other end. This time your left foot stays on top. Your foot on the floor, you stay on the ball of that foot. We're just going to tap up and down. Here we go. Up. Two. Three. Four. Go to your pace. Six. Seven. Eight. Set two. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Last set. Three. Two. Or excuse me. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yes? Come down. Going to one dumbbell, or you can keep two. All the way up on the end. Drop squat off the end. There's one. Two. Nice tall chest. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, two more. Nine and ten. Good job. Turn it sideways. Again, this can be done on the floor. Squat to a back lunge. Side squat, lunge back. Squat, lunge back. Do not rush. Bend those knees. Get down there. Go to your face. There's five, six, seven, one more, and eight. Yes? Woo! Good job. You guys ready to cool down? Yes? See how fast that goes? Super! Good job. Okay, just cool down, stretch it out. Grab water. Shake out those arms and legs a little bit. There we go. Close, close. Feet about shoulder, chin down to the chest. Relax your arms at your sides. Pull your shoulders back and down. Nice, easy breathing. Roll the chin over to the right. All the way over to your right shoulder. Now very slowly, down to the center and over to your left. Again, all the way over to the right. And slowly all the way over to your left. Come down to the center, lift your head. Right hand's gonna go across to the left side of that head. Fingertips on the left side, very, very gently. Pull your right ear towards your right shoulder to the point where you feel the stretch running down the left side of the neck, point down into your upper back, the trapezius. Hold and breathe. You should feel a nice little stretch there. Now take your left fingertips and reach for the floor. 
Breathe. Now relax that reach. Release that hand. Bring it back around. And lift your head. Okay, this time left arm comes across. Again, very gently. Left ear to right, your left shoulder. Until you feel that stretching sensation. Hold it there. And breathe. Reaching to the floor with those right fingertips. Breathe. Relax that reach. Release that head and slowly lift to center. Bring the arm down. Okay, just bring those hands back onto your glutes. Pull those elbows together as close as you can. Keep your chest tall. Head up and breathe. Stretching the chest from part of the shoulder. Relax. One more time. Just pull it together. Breathe, breathe. And release. Just bring those arms in front. Entwine the fingers. Press the palms to the mirror. Bring your chin down to your chest. Take both of your shoulders. Roll up to the ceiling and hold them there. And press forward with those arms. Upper back is rounded. Chin is on the chest. Stretching that upper back a little bit. Okay, bring your shoulders down. Lift your head. And release those arms. Bring them down. Shake them out. Take the right arm across in front. Grab above the elbow. Pull in and down to that chest as close as you can. Stretching the shoulder out. Breathe. Okay, now I want you to turn and look towards that right wall. Bring the head center. Release that arm. Just give it a little shake and roll the shoulder. Left arm comes across. Grab above that elbow. Pull in and down to the chest. Keep your shoulder relaxed. Now turn and look to your left. Bring that head center. Release that arm. Shake it out. Roll. Okay, step out wide. Okay, with soft knees, I want you to slowly just roll down with that upper body. Okay, you're just going to dangle that upper body down. Everything is relaxed. Head, neck, shoulders, arms, totally relaxed. Knees are soft. Take your right hand over to the left shoe. You're going to give a little gentle tug. Nice stretch in the right side of that back. Okay, release. Let's come back to the center. Just relax. Knees soft. Left hand to the right shoe. Give it a little tug. And release. Come back to the center. Okay, bring your hands up onto your thighs. Bring your chest tall. Take your right foot out. One giant step. And give me a lunge over. the center. Now this time I'm going to go over to your left. Nice tall upper body. And come back to the center. Put your hands down to the bench. We're going to take walk our feet in a little bit. Heel toe it in. Okay. Now take your right foot back. Press that heel to the floor. Follow with your left. Okay. Both heels to the floor. Now I want you to alternate heel lifts, right and left. Good job. Okay, bring both heels back down. Walk your right foot in. Follow with your left. Soften the knees, just roll up. Shoulders back and down, arms relaxed. Take your right heel up on top. Sit back through that hip. And sit back and feel that nice stretch going up the back of that leg. Toes pointed up. And coming up. Step down. Let's switch to the other side. And sit back through those hips. Point that toe up towards the ceiling. And roll it up. Coming back to the center. Let's take a deep breath up. And exhale. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale. Shake out those arms. Roll those shoulders. Good job, you guys. Way to go. Hey, thanks for coming in. Any 